Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. I'm the brother Daniela. This is the brother Kaabia. A couple of brothers from the GMS Houston camp. I want to um, do a quick lesson. The title I put here says, You have to pay for your sins, Eve, and all two thirds of, of Israelites, you know. But I might as well just change the title now because it's just, I'm really going to talk about, you know, all two thirds, man or woman. You know, you're going to have to pay for those sins. You know, the Christian church would like to say, oh, the most high hates the sin, not the sinner. And that, that's that's false. That's not according to the scriptures, man. According to the scripture, the most high hates sinners. So, that you know, we'll be going into that in this lesson, you know. So, Lord willing to be edifying it to the point. We're going to begin it on 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 22. And before I may add, you know, you know, you have the day of atonement today. All right. Which we know that our ultimate all right, atonement is the blood of Yahweh Shai. All right, but um, it's that's only applies. All right, the blood of Allah, Yahweh Shai only applies. All right, to those that believe in upon Him, all right, and that are seeking Him diligently. All right, not to two thirds because hey, they don't have to pay for their sins because of what? They don't have anybody to cover their sins. They don't have Yahweh Shai to cover their sins. All right, so they're gonna have to pay for it. All right, by death through pain, man. Mm -hmm. you know? As the scriptures say, they ain't gonna have no cloak for their sins because no they've heard they've heard about it. They've heard Yahweh Shai. They've heard about this this thing of our this yeah. truth. Hey, it's it's been on the news many times. They know who the Israelites are. They know what we do, you right. know. Especially our people. They, hey, we tell our families all the time. As soon as we hear about it, oh man, we gotta, we 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 eager to tell our families about yeah. this truth, man. So they know they ain't gonna have no cloak for all their sins. All right. But let's let's get into it. Second Ezra fifteen verse twenty two. All right, second Ezra uh, fifteen and twenty two. My right hand shall not spare the sinners. Con, who's the right hand? The right hand of Yahweh, Yahweh is Yahweh Shai. That's who he's going to, he's sending his son back along with the angels. And, and, and those nuclear missiles are also part of that army to come to America and destroy this place. Make it um, wholly desolate, as the scriptures say. You got it. And my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. Con, that, that's what going to the missiles, you know, coming over here to destroy this place. Hey, but it says shall not spare sinners. And who can sin? You know, at the end of the day, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And hey, we make up the 12 trial. We Ultimately, we can sin. You know, sin is just transgression of the law. You know? It says his right, his right hand shall not spare the sinners. You got it. Verse 23. Time, the fire is gone forth from his wrath and hath consumed the foundations of the earth. And the sinners... Like the straw that is kindled. God. Hey, what's that fire? Once again, speaking about Yahweh shining the angels shooting laser beams upon this place along with the nuclear missiles. Hey, it says consume the foundation of the earth. I'm talking about um, this uh, this side over here, you know, the America. This from the east to the west of America, everything will be you know destroyed completely. Kind. And uh, what is fire? Fire is a cleansing agent. All right. So in order for two thirds of our Israelites. All right, to order to be cleansed, all right, they have to go through that fire, all right, that nuclear fire. All right, like I say, you know, fire is a, cl a cleansing agent. It's only through, all right, um, Israel, all right, two thirds of Israel going, being destroyed by nuclear missiles, all right, will they uh, be cleansed and be in the kingdom, you know? Mm -hmm. Once again, it says, and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. The scriptures also say, uh, the people are going to be like fuel to the flame, you know? Mm hmm. Kind of, but you also gonna have Israelites dying before that too by kind. this war, pestilences, all types, all types of judgment coming before the the great, all right, nuclear missiles, man. All right, but just like it, uh, verse twenty four, uh, it says, "Woe to them that sin, and keep not my commandments," said the Lord. Hey, woe! What is woe? Destruction. Is destruction coming to you that sin, man? And we know we 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 are um, rehearsing the righteous acts. You're not gonna be saved by keeping the law. But you still have to keep the law, man. Right. To the best of your ability, as we went into our lesson last time. I mean, yesterday. You know? Gun. Hey, woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. And the commandments are not grievous. Right. As you said, well, let's get that precept right quick on. What's that? Um, was that First John? Three and four? I'm, I'm not sure. I have to look. Let me see it. Or. Mm -hmm. Where, Hold on, I got there? the word in there. I'm on. Let me see. It's like you bear with this. First John five and three. There it is. You can read that. Alright. This first John 
5 and 3, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So this is true love. When you're showing true love, true love to your neighbor, you, hey, you're keeping the commandments, man. But it says his commandments are not grievous. And two-thirds of our people, they act like the commandments are grievous, man. It's not hard to stop eating pork. It's not hard to, to not have sex with your brother's wife, to commit adultery against your brother. That's not grievous. That's not hard, man. But two-thirds of our people, they, they love to be in folly and, and dwell in sin. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I was telling somebody and then they said, what? I got to I gotta stop eating pork, but I love my pork. Well, <laughs> if you love pork, then you must love to die. Then You must love to be put to death. Man, they know... <laughs> They know that shit not good for them. They'll say, oh, it's not good for me, but it's good to me. Oh, my goodness, man. I, that shit is... Yeah, that's a, that's a death mindset. You can read on 2nd Edges 15 and 24 and keep going. This is 2nd Edges 15 and 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, said the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power defile not my sanctuary. Once again, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is not sparing the sinners of our, of his, of our people, you know. Uh, it says, um, defile not my sanctuary. And ultimately, our bodies is the is the this third temple that's being built up right now. You know, and two thirds of our people continuously defile defile their bodies, you know. Okay. All right, uh twenty six. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them into death and destruction. Man, that's um Salakia. So Kind of lost my train of thought right there. But Yahweh Bashim Yahshua knows everything, man. You can't escape him. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power. Mm -hmm. What what can you... You can't run from Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. You can't turn the lights off and go into a closet and then start to commit sin and think that you're not... <laughs> hey, right. yeah, the, the scriptures say his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know What's the eyes of the Lord? The angels, man. The angels are innumerable. Right. They're everywhere watching everything that happened upon the earth, reporting back to the Heavenly Father. Well, it's like if that worked... You know, you going to the closet and doing something in secret, thinking you, you know, or behind closed doors. You think if that were to work, all right, that the Heavenly Father can't see you like that, then the Heavenly Father wouldn't be, on, uh, uh, what is it, omnipotent? Uh, what is it, omnipotent? Something like that, somewhere around there. Then the Heavenly Father wouldn't be omnip omnipotent. He wouldn't be the Most High God. All right, if he can, you can hide from him like that. No, Most High can see everything. As your brother quoted that precept. All right, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. He sees everything. He even he even knows our thoughts. He can hear our thoughts. You know, the Most High created us. Come on. All right. Um, what is it, verse 27? Come on, yeah. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them, for the Most High shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. And that, that last plague, that nuclear destruction, man, it said you're going to mm -hmm. dwell in torment. Two thirds of our people here over here in America, you're gonna dwell in torments and that fire, man. Ain't no telling how long you know Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is gonna keep you there, but man, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a little minute. Okay. And that's no, that's the um, that's your recompense, your payback for not turning back into Yahweh Shah, not seeking Him, you know. But let's let me get some of the, the next precept. Get that Amos. Amos. This is Amos nine in verse ten. It says. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right, man. It's, it's going right around to what the brother was saying that oh, these Christians like to say that the Most High hate the, the sin, not the sinner. What, do, what is the sinner? The person committing the sin. All right, so he's saying all the sinners of my people, and who is the Lord's people? All right, the Israelites. Uh, and it's going to be two-thirds of you Israelites that's going to be put to death, man, by the sword. All right, which the ultimate sword is the thermonuclear missiles, man, which will befall upon America. All right, and then it says, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, meaning what? These Israelites think that evil ain't going to come towards them. See, I've been doing this and see, I've been doing this for the, however this long. There's nothing happened to me, you know, but hey, man, uh, just know that the Lord all right, is long suffering. All right, he lets your sins stack up upon each other, man. All right, for the great day of judgment that's going to come upon you, man. You know, you may think, oh, I did this and I'm, I came out uh, without uh, a mark on me. But really, the, more, the Lord did mark you. All right. And it's not with the, the, the CHIP, you know, for you people out there. But he did mark you. And now he's like, OK, you did this. He did that. 
All right, he's going to continue to stack up on you until the Lord going to be like, okay, I had enough of you, and it's going to be a great, all right, uh, judgment that's going to befall upon you, man, if you can continue in your wicked ways, man. Okay. Let me get the next precept. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right, and this goes right back, right along with Amos 9 and 10. It's the last part where it says, evil shall not overtake or prevent us, man. Because our people think that just because they didn't get judged and right, right then and there, all right, for their, uh, for their iniquities or for their sins, that it's okay to do what they did, man. As I said before, the long, the Lord is long suffering. He, he is merciful. He'll let you get by a certain amount of times, man. But there's, uh, there's a cutoff point, man. You no. Know? Uh, twelve. Verse twelve. It yeah. says, "Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged." Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him. Right. It's going to be well with them that fear the Most High, man. All right. And who, who are the people that fear the Most High? All right. You have the elect amongst the nation of Israel that fear the Most High, man. And it's going to be well with them. Why? Because at the end, what? They're going to be saved, man, from the nuclear destruction. All right. But two thirds of these people, all right, they're going to die. All right. By, by the ultimate sword, man, the thermonuclear missiles, man. And think about that. Yeah, I was saying the book of Job, the fifth chapter, tell you that um and and six and uh let me let me just get it right quick. Let's say Job five. Let me, let me see. I'm gonna go straight Job to Job. Yeah, Job. Okay. Try to see and go straight to the point. And where is it at? Yeah, Job five and nineteen. It says, "He shall deliver thee in six troubles; yea, in seven thou shall no evil touch thee." And what's that seven troubles? The nuclear, the nuclear destruction, like the brother just mentioned. Hey, Lord willing, we part of that number. We're not gonna have to to go through that. You know, that fire is not gonna touch us. Right. <laughs> hey, man, we we we're, gonna, we're we're cleansed through Yahweh shot and right. faith in Him. Because our sins were already well. I'm not saying our, but the elect sins were already. We hope to be of that number, you know. But the elect sins were already blotted out by Yahweh shot, man. So they don't have to. Uh, uh, be, uh, pay for sin, all right? Because who Yahweh Shai's blood covered them because they believed in Yahweh Shai, but two thirds of our people don't believe in them. So who was there to cover their, their sins, man? No God. one. So they that, gonna, you got? I about to say damn sure not sweet Jesus because that's who they're gonna be calling on. Right, man. They're gonna have a rude awakening that day. That that's not Yahweh Shai's name, you know. Uh, Ecclesiastes eight and thirteen. Unless you want to add something else. Con, eight, thirteen, con. Ecclesiastes 8 and 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before the Most High. God, it's not going to be well with the wicked, man, because at the end, the wicked are going to be destroyed and the righteous are going to be saved, man. And, hey, the wicked, all right, two-thirds of our Israelite brothers, I mean, not brothers, I said brothers, but two-thirds of our Israelite, all right, fellows, all right, they don't fear the Lord, all right, and I'm... What proves that? All right, because two thirds of our Israelites, uh, fellows, they believe that the Heavenly Father is all good. All right, that's why they don't fear Him because they can't they can't possibly fathom that the Heavenly Father could kill them or take them out. You know, mm -hmm. they they fear more. They, as Apostle Kabar said one day, you know, uh, two thirds of our people they fear Satan more than the Heavenly Father, man. But you have to keep in mind that who created Satan? All right, the Heavenly Father did. In Proverbs 16, it, it, it goes into how the wicked was created for the day of evil, I believe. Mm -hmm. you know, paraphrasing. I just want to add just another way you can prove that they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, I'll read this precept here. Sirach 1 and 21. It says, The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. So that's, they don't have the fear of the Lord because they continue to dwell in sin, man. If right. you truly fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're not about to go sleep with your brother's wife. You're right. not about to eat abominations. You're not about to live a abominable lifestyle. Right. But what do you see two-thirds of our people here in America doing? Everything contrary to the scriptures. Right, because they fear you because you fear what the Lord would do to you if you do these things, man. Jake don't have that fear. God. And I, like I said, I was going to title the lesson before getting in on E, but man, I just it just pissed me off to see and these damn women out here, you know, gadding abroad, doing whatever they want to, have a having a whole roster full of men, like they the man, you know. Oh, I got oh, I got me a thousand husbands. Like what the yeah. hell? Man, mm -hmm. this shit is just backwards here in America. We we vex daily. We ready to get the hell up out of here. Well you know, hey two thirds of Israelites, y'all gonna have to pay for y'all sins, man. Right. You're not you're not getting away sky free. Yeah. Two thirds of you Israelites gonna have to pay for your sins with your own blood, man. 
God. the elect they're gonna be their their sins gonna be paid for by the blood of your house shine man God, that's all I had I don't see no. God. Well, Lord willing, this was edifying to the point where we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. The one to the Apostle and Elzel, Great Millstone, rule well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000, pushing this world without truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.